when the sun The year is 1964, and Under the Boardwalk is a top 10 hit. But just 50 years earlier, something arguably bigger happened. This school, now known as the San Jacinto Memorial Building, opened. People ought to respect this building for what it's brought to Houston. All the educational institutions it, it spawned, that's, this is good. And so we should know that keeping buildings like this vital, up-to-date, modern, it's the best thing to do. HCC has done that through a $60 million restoration that started three years ago, and the results are already on display. Like these added elevator banks, study areas, and widened hallways with original flooring where lockers used to be. But San Jack alum Alan Finger used to hang out in a different area. I hardly got past the gymnasium because I, I was on the football team. I did some swimming, I believe. And uh, I was also in the choir, so yes, I did get to sing in, in the auditorium quite often. That 800-seat auditorium Finger is talking about is one of the gems in the school. Without a doubt. I love the rest of the building, but that auditorium, that is good. And particularly the wooden seats, because we restored all the wooden seats there. And that is, it's priceless. It's like an opera house. It's so beautiful. And uh, that's my favorite spot. Another hot spot is the conservatory. Now this room isn't just for looks. Eventually it'll house all types of memorabilia, like trophies and pictures. And they'll all be stored right here in these cabinets. The cases were added to display the awards the school had won for athletics and student activities. This was also a great place for a snapshot. The conservatory was a focal point, um, mainly actually for, for yearbook pictures, because there's always uh, pictures of the most popular and the best achiever or the, the, the boys' football team or, or the debate team. They always took their pictures around the fountain. The conservatory is now the only original room in the building, but there's still plenty to see like the fitness center with state-of-the-art workout equipment and the learning emporium on the third floor, where this former cafeteria has been converted to a tutoring lab. And sure, the amenities are nice, but there are other reasons Sanjak is still a point of pride both for alumni and the HCC community. It's just been a phenomenal school. There's been so much history. So many famous people have graduated from there. And, and the architecture is just... I mean, it's classic. It's too pretty to tear down and too useful. This is our landmark building. This is where HCC was born. And we're just really proud of that. And we see it going for another 100 years. We'll be falling in love. On so fall in love with San Jack all over again. Or for the first time. Finishing touches to the building are expected to be completed by early fall.